you're probably not long. Let's not give uh, ladies anything. We're gonna have to forgive our glasses because we have a coming tomorrow. And cut film. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, what was welcome. the uh, ah? You can have a welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have bourbon before this. A bad idea. It's been a good idea. Mother. We're the Bourbon Junkies, and welcome back. I'm Dan. And I'm Sean. And tonight we are trying the trap from Orphan Barrel. It seems like a constant uh, theme with us right now is yeah. uh, new Orphan Barrels. Pretty obsessed with Orphan Barrel. They got a good story. This was $100 more mm. than gifted horse. Yeah, that's you know? a thing. Yeah. So, entrapment is. It better is, be worth $100 more than If this is. And you're, I know you're supposed to expect the best before you start these things. Yep. If this is worth a hundred dollars, I'll be blown away. Rhetoric is worth rhetoric's worth a hundred. Price. Yep. Barter house, probably. I give it that. Sure. We'll see. I, I shouldn't see oh, yeah. yeah, it. This is bad. Twenty-five year old bottle, uh, aged distilled by Crown Royal in Gimli. Mm -hmm. Um, didn't know that when I bought it. Makes me not want to buy it again. Yeah, so we're gonna open this, tell you how we feel about it, and then you can decide probably not to buy it because you can't find it. So. Yeah, and, or it might be bad. Yeah. Either decision. Or both. I bought this solely. That made no noise, which is super nothing. disappointing. Let me try again. That was a silent. Yeah, just a. Boop. Just a. Just drop it. I bought this solely out of. Um, rarity, the fact that I like Rhetoric and Barter House a lot. Um, I know the Orphan Barrel story is debated, maybe? Uh, maybe that's highly, a good way to put yeah. it. Um, and I don't. Could be falsified, don't could care. be true. I honestly it, don't care. It's a great story, though. So. It's a super cool story, and if you make good bourbon, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, so if you don't know, their story is Orphan Barrel goes through and they find barrels that have been left in a rack house. Yep. And so they're orphaned barrels. And then they <clears throat> then sell them. These barrels were left alone for 25 years and something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one, no so one anyway, was like, those ones, yeah, yeah, they're empty. Don't yeah, worry about that. It is different on this one. Um, it was a, it was in Gimli. In some Canadian one. whiskey. Yep. They have base yep. and they have flavor. Yep. And so... Two different mash bills generally. Yep. And then they'll put them together. And they made their, their you know, crown whatever oil or yeah. whatever. Yep. Um, so the, this was pretty much decided that it is a base whiskey. Because the mash bill is 97% corn, 3% barley. Mm. High, high corn, uh, low barley, low at rye, low yeah, anything right, else, yeah. uh, is generally a base, base, base whiskey, whiskey. Which wouldn't be aged for 25 years because you're not using it necessarily no. for the flavor. This was decided that it is either orphaned yep. or too flavorful to use as a base. Which is why it was kept aging. Because it was already had a good flavor profile. And they said, oh, let's see what happens if we keep it there for 25 years. Or Orphan Barrel found it. You know, I love that story so much. Dude, the first, I think the yeah, first um, yeah. Orphan Barrel I found was Barter House. None of yeah. us have had Orphan Barrel. It's, it's a random I found random Barter time. House. I was like, that. Shout the, out to Megabeth. Uh, Mega, oh, I forgot the name. At Barter House, I looked at that label and went, that is such a cool label. And I'm like Very super cool. sold on marketing. So you put a cool label yeah. on a bottle, I'll probably overpay for it. So. 100%. Case in point. Hence in traffic because the label is so cool. Label. Picked up Barter House that night and I really, really enjoyed it. So I ended up getting two bottles of Barter House. Um, had a couple bottles of rhetoric. I, the story of Orphan Barrel is the coolest story to me yeah. in all of whiskey. The fact Absolutely. that Dago made this company called Orphan Barrel Distillery and they go around and they search these uh, rick houses and they find these awesome barrels and somehow they're they're all dated obviously. They find them, they go, oh well HGs will we'll, we'll yeah, steal them. They're basically orphaned. they're stealing them. Actually if yeah. you think about that. Did they pay for them? No, they're stealing them. Alright. I That's really do. I the, love the, the story. The, the Fitzgerald story. We were just in that video we were watching? What? The the, the Fitzgerald story that he went around, um, and he had oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. treasure yeah. and pro prohibition. Yeah. So he was going and stealing the best bottles of whiskey. Yeah. And so everyone was like, ah, oh, Fitzgerald whiskey, that's so good. Yeah. What an 
I get pretty sweet. I still get such like get a, some barrel. a salt and flavor. Like barrel? I don't, I, don't, I don't know why. Did we have no some stuff that is well over this tonight? Don't get a lot of alcohol. Wait, are you saying you're getting alcohol? No, a solvent smell out of it. So not like it's not high alcohol. proof. It's not alcohol. It's high proof. No, it's it doesn't, not alcohol it smell. doesn't smell super complex. No. It does not smell. I think that's what you're gonna get like out of the most impressive thing in the world. That's true. I am so much more nervous for this. I'm biased. I have since changed my mind. Oh, not because you? of how it smells. I get a little. It's gonna sound stupid. I get a little grass. Like a little long. Like if I walk outside, I want to sniff the ground. Mm. Are, you, are you saying dirt or no? Grass? Not dirt. It doesn't smell dirty. It doesn't smell. It doesn't even smell that old, honestly. No, it really. I think that's because it's forty percent. I don't know what, what this smell is. That it's it's. Right. It's not like an acetone smell for me. Yeah, it I don't smells solventy. I'm a chemist. I work with a lot of solvents in the day. I know what a solvent smells like. Let's put some quotations around. Chemist. Soft scene. All right, you good? I, I feel like I said nothing about smells on this. You said it smells like solvent like 14 times. That is not, it does not That's taste how it smells at all. Very sweet. It is way better. Wow. All right. That. I obviously called this from the beginning that it was going to be pretty delicious. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah. With the, the, you the will very see high in the video that I call. Cut film. Oh, that's so weird. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to taste again. I like the first taste. It uh, basically no oak and like like usually I envision something that's 25 years when you swallow that parks its tongue, like right right on the tongue and it's going to sit there for a while barely any like long lasting flavor on this. It's all up front for me. Super smooth. Yeah. Like it's ultra cool. smooth. Yeah. I don't know what that smell is, but I want to get away because it's really heightening some really yeah. sweet smell. It's almost honey sitting in the back. You know what? I don't know. Like if I was a little you know honey what? Bee, no, I'm with you. I'm not going to go as far as to say beeswax. I don't think that's real, but oh, it no, does smell like No, no, no. I'm just saying honey. if I was a, a little bee, I'd be going in into this. <laughs> If I was a bee, I'd pollinate the shit out of this. Those are flowers. They make <laughs> I can't. Wow. I get I get some I definitely obviously I mean you have to. I get some barrel. A little bit. After that though, I get like um like a it's a little nutty to me. Oh, I don't after, after, so we're talking finish here, not pack, okay. right? Okay, right. I get the old barrel. I get some nuts. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to specify which ones. See, for me, this is such sharp flavor that just goes away. It is so just mm, silky sweet. It, in smooth, like, like, uh, like velvet, dude. Like, yeah. when it's in my mouth, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's soft. Yeah. I feel like I could pet it. <laughs> I feel like I can sleep under those silk sheets. It feels very one-dimensional. I feel like it's not burying a bunch no. for you to find. It's not layers. No. no, no, no. We're gonna have to preface some of this. This is a hundred and sixty dollar bottle of whiskey. Yeah, right? it, hurts. it hurts to hear that. The label, to me, worth eighty. Uh -huh. Anyways, the label's so cool. What was uh? Fifty bucks on the label alone. The marketing. 20, Another, 30. Ooh, at least. At yeah. least. Yeah. I'm going a lot. Side story. So we're talking, if I see an orphan barrel for 60 to 70 dollars. Gifted horse? I will buy it. Yeah. Doesn't like, it doesn't necessarily matter what story. So for 60 to 70 for oh. orphan barrel, I'll buy it. Man, that's like. This is 160. Yeah, that solvent smells not going away for me. Here, it gives away. Here, smell mine. Let's see if it's different. These are identical glasses. Yeah. You know what I kind of smell out of yours? A little sweeter than this, almost. Here. You know what I legit kind of smell out of yours? Yeah. Maybe like a tiny hint of bonfire. Wow. Campfire. Go back. Like, He's like, cut off. <laughs> go back. You're not wrong. Like, right? Now that you say it, like, right, well, it's probably placebo now for you, but anyway, yeah, a little, is. just a tiny bit. Not a lot, a little smoke. I don't know, man. I like it. I do like it. Um, I, I wish I had a, just a well, I, at the end point, here's the thing, I have no complaints about what is there. I have complaints about what's not there. Oh, alright. But I don't have any complaints about what I do get. Okay. What
What I do get is not not complex, no. not confusing. The taste is pretty straightforward. In my mouth, I like the mouthfeel a lot. One of the top mouthfeels for me, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. You think so? No. Oh. I think it's a little high. <laughs> It's like, it's, it's, nice. it's like it's I nice. smelled out of <laughs> roller coasters, yeah. solvents. Yeah. We know how Sean feels about it. I'm not in love with it. Like if someone gave it to me, I'd be like, you know, not bad. And then when they said, oh, it's $160, I'd say, you got ripped off. I'll tell you guys how you should actually feel about this. That's great. My hopes were set so low, and maybe yeah. that's my thing. Yeah. My hopes sense. were set to the point where I'm like, not a huge fan of most Canadian whiskeys I've had. Um, it's $160. My, I get, here's the thing that I do get, here's the thing I understand. It's so hard to find. Yeah. So I do understand that rarity to some extent does raise a price of something. Yep. The problem is, is we bought it retail. Yeah. This was not buy hand. it second hand. Yeah. In the suggested MSR or MSRP or whatever, suggested retail saying. is 150, I think. So that's kind of yeah. an issue. I get, and I know that you're paying, hmm, let's say 120 for that that number right in the middle. I yeah. get that too. 100. If there was class, something I could run down to the corner store and pick up for 50 30, bucks, yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> my price is. Going, I buy it for 60 yeah. or 70. Oh, 50 Does bucks. it have this label for 50? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back for 50. 50 bucks? Yeah. Pour a glass. Put a label in the bottle. Final thoughts. Not bad. If it knocked the one out in front of its price tag. Okay, too expensive. Um, yeah. Right. I, think, I think that's just their, the, the big, hard no sell for me. Okay. Um, yeah. I would agree. I think that it's good, and I like it, and I actually do enjoy it. I think it's a. I think it's something I pour into a glass and I drink and I don't put too much thought into it. It's easy to drink. Yeah. Super easy. To drink. Yeah, it's got great. No matter ability. what we say, it's too. It's super easy to drink. I could drink a lot of this. Okay, great. All right, great. So our, our grades are set out. We're yeah. gonna flash them on the screen. Nah. We're just gonna go with them. People will get it. All right, they'll get it. For me, it's hard because of the collectability and rarity play a portion. It has to, though. I mean, it definitely has to. Unless so, you blind tasted it, it has to. I would give it a... Oh, wow, he threw... Oh, wow, I thought he threw the A-bomb down. I'm like, nah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. B minus. You'd almost buy it again for $160. No, no, no. So, I'll say... That's the wrong grade. Oh, you buy it just because of collectability for the B... But the minus is that I would oh, wow, dude. never want to rebuy this now that I have it. You're using our grade feeling correctly, so I'll take uh, it. So you're gonna give it a C plus then. Minus. Oh my god, you went real low on no, it. I'm glad we bought it once. Oh. I'm glad that this bottle will sit on that shelf. And when I you know when this would be good? Never. Dead middle summer. <laughs> Hot as <laughs> Yeah, I I This you get out of the middle of summer, you go, ah, it's not bad. a little yeah. light. Refreshing. A little refreshing. Throw that yeah. lime in there. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 wow. If you spent $160 on that, what would you rate it right now? Oh, fuck. It Different, has, yeah. Like, it's not even on a scale. That's the problem. So that was Entrapment. We're the bourbon junkies. And the proof is in the pour.